Here's two tips if you're thinking about getting dental implants. Tip number one, there's two different broad types of categories of dental implants. The first and the oldest is basically two-stage dental implants and the second category is a single-stage dental implant. Two-stage dental implants have four steps. Step one is the tooth is removed uh, several weeks prior to the actual implant or at the same time as the dental implant. And then the dental implant is actually inserted to the bone that you can see here. Step two is the healing process. It's called osteointegration. And that's basically a period of four to six months where the actual implant fuses to the actual bone in your jaw. Three is the abutment is actually placed inside of the dental implant, like a screw. And finally, the dental crown is placed on the abutment. One stage dental implants are different in the major component that they don't have two stages of treatment. They do both the placement of the implant and the actual uh, placement of the abutment and the crown simultaneously. So there's no break for four to six months for, for the healing of the tooth and the osteo integration. Tip number two is when you're deciding between a one-stage dental implant and a two-stage dental implant, you need to consider three things. One is the success ratio, or you would think about it, the failure rate of each type of these two procedures for dental implants. You think about the cost involved, and you finally, you think about the time commitment. The big thing between a single and two-stage dental implant treatment is the treatment time. You've got an extra four to six months with a two-stage dental implant. And finally, you have two visits to the dentist, an oral surgeon. So therefore, if you're traveling abroad, you have to travel twice to that dentist, twice the hotel stay, twice the airfare. One inconvenient truth about dental implants is there's not a 100% success ratio. When you look at the ratio of failure, you generally see a failure rate of dental implants being anywhere from five to 10% for two-stage dental implants and higher for single-stage dental implants. Full disclosure, I'm not a dentist and nor is this trained medical or dental advice. So if you're looking to get a thorough explanation of dental implants and their advantages and disadvantages two-stage, please visit your local certified dentist or local dentist abroad.